Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the first annual Nintendo Awards show, hosted by Sean Long. I am Sean Long, and I'll be hosting this evening's event. Uh, we have a great, great show lined up for you guys. Lots of good awards going out. A Grammy-winning musical guest. So it's going to be a very special evening. But without any further ado, let's get into the awards, folks. Each award will both have a runner-up and a grand winner. Now, all because you're a runner-up doesn't mean that's a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing if you manage to stand out amongst all the games, software, everything going on in the world of Nintendo. So, let's get into our first category. 3DS Indie Game of the Year. For 3DS Indie Game of the Year is... Ah, B Plus Games' Bit Boy Arcade. Fantastic game, great use of 3D graphics, some of the best on the system actually, even though it's an indie game. Thank you for B Plus Games for providing a great game, and I hope you enjoy winning runner-up for the 3DS Indie Game of the Year. Now, without any further ado, let's find out the winner of the 3DS Indie Game of the Year. And that'll be going to... Retro City Rampage DX. Retro City Rampage DX on the 3DS came out much earlier in the year, but that doesn't mean it isn't one of the top games on the system. Combining open world elements of Grand Theft Auto with retro style graphics, tons of pop culture references, and hilarious writing, Retro City Rampage DX is one of the most packed content games on the 3DS. With tons of unlockables, tons of missions, Retro City Rampage DX will keep you occupied for a long time and you will enjoy every second of it. A fantastic game made even better by the 3DS's portability, Retro City Rampage DX is more than deserving of 3DS Indie Game of the Year. Alright, it was stacked on the indie side of things on the 3DS, and it's especially stacked on the retail side of things for the 3DS. Now 3DS Game of the Year. Our runner-up for 3DS Game of the Year is Tomodachi Life. Tomodachi Life was a fantastic simulation, part sim, part fun, part just weird as hell game. It was a great game. Definitely should pick it up if you haven't. It has one of the best replay values on the 3DS. Now it's time to announce the winner of 3DS Game of the Year. And the honor goes to... Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS is quite possibly the best handheld fighting game ever. Combining the classic Smash Bros. gameplay with new characters, solid online, and 3DS specific modes such as Smash Run, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS will keep you playing for years after its release, even though its big brother is now out on the Wii U. The portability of the game really makes it shine, and the gorgeous graphics and great use of 3D make Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS the top game for the system in 2014. very prestigious award, and the only place you're going to see something like this is on the first annual Nintendo Award Show. Douchebag of the Year. Now, let's meet our runner-up for Douchebag of the Year. And the runner-up for Douchebag of the Year goes to... Jason Lapine. Uh, how the hell did he not win Douchebag of the Year? Just look at him, he's an idiot. Who, who voted for someone else? Did you vote for someone else? This is ridiculous. He wears a freaking beret. Look at him. Look at that picture. He's wearing a freaking beret. I don't, I don't understand how he didn't win this. All right, so evidently, Jason Lapine, there's a bigger douchebag than Jason Lapine, which blows my mind. All right, let's see who won the award. Ah, Yevs Gilmont, however the hell you say your name, from Ubisoft. My company releases broken games and then talks shit about the Wii U user base. Alright, we've reached the halfway point of our show and I'd like to introduce you to our special musical guest. Grammy Award winning, Millie Vanilli. You wouldn't believe where we've been, but we're back thanks to some new friends. This one's for a real princess. One and a two and a... Princess, or uh, princess, maybe 
if we keep our band, we'll be that popular. <laughs> With all the games that came out for the Wii U and the 3DS, we saw a lot of new faces that we've never seen before. This next category is Coolest New Character. Coolest New Character. And the runner-up is... Shovel Knight from Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight was a great game. Shovel Knight himself would have been right in place with the 80s scene of Mega Man, Mario, and he really stands out in a fantastic adventure. Shovel Knight, we hope you enjoy your award. Now the winner for the coolest new character goes to... Armillo from Armillo. Wait, what's... What's that? He's here? He sent us a video? Ooh, I didn't really expect that. Alright, well, let's check out what Yanni from uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy Games has to say. Hey Sean, thanks a lot for that. From everyone here at Fuzzy Wuzzy Games, we really appreciate this. Uh, we want to thank you guys for doing such an awesome job for getting the name out. Uh, getting a word out about our game um, for the early reviews, all the talk, all the hype, all that great stuff that you guys did to just help us out. We really appreciate it. And um, that's how indie games like our Milo get known. It's because people like you go out of your way to um, mention it and, and help us out. So we just want to say thanks a lot for that. We really appreciate it. The Wii U may not be a graphical powerhouse on paper, but it puts out some beautiful graphics. Best Wii U graphics. Our up for Wii U graphics of the year is Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta 2 was a fantastic game. It looked beautiful. The frame rate held up nice. Some of the textures and lighting were just amazing. And it was a great game in and of itself, both graphically and gameplay wise. Bayonetta 2, you deserve this award. Now let's find out the winner of this prestigious award, Wii U Graphics of the Year. And the winner is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze was bright colorful, smooth frame rate, rich in detail, and was just one of the best 2D looking games of all time. With a packed indie scene on the Wii U and many games being just fantastic, it was definitely hard to narrow down some choices for this next category. Wii U Indie Game of the Year. For the Wii U Indie Game of the Year is actually a tie between two games, Shovel Knight and Cube Men 2. Shovel Knight was a fantastic 2D platformer with retro elements, really stood out from amongst the competition. Cube Men 2 had some of the best online abilities of any Wii U game, and that was an indie game. Fantastic level creation, tight gameplay, and a really fun experience. Now, for the winner of Wii U Indie Game of the Year goes to... Ah, uh, Stealth Inc. 2 from Curve Studios. Stealth Inc. 2 was one of my highest rated games of 2014, and for good reason. It's that damn good. At its roots, Stealth Inc. 2 is a 2D puzzle platformer with some of the most ingenious puzzles ever seen in a game. With different items to use to navigate these puzzles, the game really makes you think and drives you almost to the point of madness sometimes. Add in a Metroidvania style overworld with beautiful graphics that run at a solid 60 frames per second an excellent musical score, and both online leaderboards and user-created levels, and Stealth Inc. 2 is definitely the Wii U Indie Game of the Year. For the Wii U, there's one more award that we must talk about. The Nintendo Show Host of the Year. And the winner is... Me! I, I won! Oh man, this is great, man. Uh, oh man, I, I guess I gotta do a speech. Um, I'd like to thank, you know, uh, God, Jesus, Black Santa, um, my, mo my moms for, you know, giving birth to me, you know, shooting me out of her uterus. That was really important in my growth, you know, both as a human and as, you know, hosting a show. So, that man, man, there's so many people I like to thank. Grandma, what's up, Grandma? How you doing? Um, pops, you know, uncles, all, all the family. Uh, I'd like to thank, you know, you, the fans, you know, you guys are great. Yeah, wow. Hey, Jason should have won. Who the hell said that? It was him. Get that son of a bitch with the beret out of here. I know who that is. Get out of here, you bastard. You don't belong on this show. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Wearing your beret. Freaking douchebag. Up next is the granddaddy of them all. The Wii U Game of the Year. The runner-up is... Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U. A fantastic online and single player experience 
the latest version of Super Smash Bros. really pushed the fighting genre in a positive way, and it's just a great game with lots of longevity. Now, for the winner of Wii U Game of the Year goes to Bayonetta 2. What more can be said about Bayonetta 2 that hasn't been said already? Bayonetta 2 is the most non-Nintendo game on the Wii U, and the fact that Nintendo had something to do with it shows the greatness of this game. With gorgeous graphics, fast and fluid gameplay, huge boss battles, high quality voice acting, and tons of unlockables, Bayonetta 2 from Platinum Games and Nintendo manages to push the Wii U to new heights that were previously not thought to be accomplishable by both non-Nintendo fans and many members of the press. Add in the fact that you get an enhanced copy of the original game for free, and the fact that there is some really fun and addicting online play in a cooperative mode, and Bayonetta 2 is the most complete package on the Wii U. All of this combined makes Bayonetta 2 Game of the Year not just for the Wii U, but for any system. Bayonetta 2 is our Wii U Game of the Year. folks and that's getting out of our award show tonight hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for coming out the both those live in the audience and those watching at home the millions of people watching at home you know we had a great turnout tonight i'm just, i'm just messing around man um i had a lot of fun with this episode i just wanted to you know share my thoughts well with i don't know why i'm using this mic it's not even linked up i just wanted to share my thoughts of you know what I thought were cool games of the year. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, Weekend Review will be back next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, little fun, you know, just mess around bullshit episode. But all right, I'll see you guys next week. Later. <laughs>